For my PD-1 observations, I was placed in Granbury ISD at Acton Middle School. My cooperating classroom was a 6th grade ELA ran by Mrs. McKamey. Granbury ISD is a Title I district with 10 different school campuses. They are a majority white population with small minority pockets of Hispanic, African American, and Asian. Overall support of education is astounding within the community, but overall testing scores are low. In my classroom, 19 out of 24 students have some sort of learning disability or physical disability that requires for them to have some additional learning support. My 2D is one of them. She is 504 identified with dyslexia. Because of the range of disabilities, half of the class was reserved for splitting the class up into groups. These groups were then sent to separate locations around the school where they would work on part of the concept in the way that suited their learning style best. My 2D would stay in the classroom to work on the smart board and Chromebooks. Mrs. McKamey's classroom is set up in stations. Every week they cover a different concept within these stations. Students are grouped by their Lexile reading scores. Although the room looks messy and cluttered, everything hung up has a meeting to a previous talk concept, future concept, or daily classroom reminder. On rare occasions were the students not doing stations. Every week the concept and materials would change, but the stations were always prompt reading, independent reading, Chromebooks with the online classroom, teacher help station, working in their literature books, and doing a literature activity. My, my 2D didn't love doing stations, but her work did progressively get better as stations work continued. My 2D had the most trouble with spelling and reading comprehension skills. I took note of that and I also took note of what helped her most, which was drawing, color coding, and having a partner. My cooperating teacher did everything to accommodate her and work with her on these skills. Stations also were a huge help to her because it did give her peers to help her in her reading skills. Being at Acton Middle School, and especially in Ms. McKamey's class, for my first round of observations really opened my eyes on what being in a truly diverse 21st century classroom is. I learned the importance of accommodation and what it really means to be a teacher that can make a difference in a student's life.